Good morning, friend. It is a good day to have a good day. Am I right? It's Monday. I freaking love Mondays. I love the fresh start. I love stepping into a new week. I just love Mondays. It's time to make breakfast. I figured we would do another what I eat in a day. I'm going to share with you everything I'm eating today. If you've been watching any of my other videos, you're probably not at all surprised to guess that we are gonna make some scrambled eggs and some fruit and some matcha. Not too creative, but let's get after it. <laughs> I actually have a Band-Aid on this thumb because I sliced the crap out of it with another knife yesterday. So you know, maybe don't cut your fruit without a cutting board, although, I sliced it when I was cutting it on a cutting board. So, you know, risky behavior. talked about this in more detail in the last what I eat in a day video so I will link that for you guys if you haven't watched it definitely check that out but one of the biggest shifts I've made in my diet lately has to do with eating breakfast and eating a lot of food before 9 30 a.m. I haven't done the math but I would guess almost half of my daily calories come before 9 30 in the morning <laughs> because I drink my adrenal cocktail right after I wake up I have this big breakfast I make my matcha which has protein, carbs, and fat in it, and I really nourish my body well in the morning. The thing is, diet mentality messed me up for so long, and I always approached my days with this mentality of eating as little as I could. So of course that meant in the mornings I was not eating a lot, because I thought I was just trying to like save my calories or whatever. So if you don't know, I'm currently working on healing from Hashimoto's. I was diagnosed almost four years ago, which is so insane. I cannot believe that much time has passed, but over the last four years, I've tried a lot of different things to help support my body in healing my thyroid, and I feel like I'm finally understanding the missing piece that I had for all these years. I can't even tell you guys how good I feel and just how hopeful I feel in my physical healing. I feel pretty confident in saying that intermittent fasting and fasted workouts in the morning are one of the things that triggered my Hashimoto's diagnosis that really sent my body into a tailspin. That could be an entire video in and of itself. Something we're celebrating as I've been incorporating a lot of these new practices, some of these supplements, focusing on my nourishment, eating breakfast, doing all these things to support my metabolism from a fundamental cellular level. I actually, for the very first time since my Hashimoto's diagnosis, just got my lab test back, showing that my free T3 is actually high. I won't go into too much detail for y'all that aren't thyroid people, but Free T3 is the thyroid hormone that actually flows through our body and our body cells can use for energy. One of the biggest issues I've had with my thyroid has not just been the production of my thyroid hormone, but the actual conversion to the free form. I had to get on thyroid medication. I've had to increase my thyroid medication. I've tried all these things. This is the first time I'm seeing success and realizing that this stuff is working. Everything I've been doing to support my metabolism, focusing on balancing my blood sugars throughout the day. I talked about this in the last video, focusing on balancing protein, carbs, and fat every time that I eat. And I am convinced a big part of that has been actually incorporating more carbohydrates into my diet. It's working, it's working and it's so incredibly exciting. I gained 50 pounds after my diagnosis and you better believe it was so easy for me to apply diet mentality and diet culture to that, to focus on eating less. I got obsessive about not eating too many carbs, not eating too many sugars, working out harder, but all that did was make me worse. This is just such a good reminder to me that by stepping back and letting go of fear and focusing on nourishment, focusing on the actual biology of my body, nourishing my body, giving it energy, giving it calories, giving it nutrients, giving it sugars and carbs, these things that I was starving it of, I have been telling my body that it's safe and it has been healing because of that. Ugh, I just... I, I honestly, I, this should probably be a whole separate video, so I'll leave it at that for now. But just something to celebrate and to encourage you in. Focus on nourishment, trust your body, honor it, give it what it needs. I, I literally feel better than I have in four years since my diagnosis. Like I cannot believe how amazing I feel. It just feels so good to feel good. And you can do that, you can do that.
Now after breakfast, you know it's time for matcha. Seriously, look at this froth. I'm sorry, but non-dairy milks cannot compete. Wow. Okay, it is now 1.12 p.m. I block off one to two o'clock every day in my calendar as my lunch break. I got really deep into the work I was working on before this, so I'm 15 minutes late, but that still gives us 45 minutes to make some lunch and enjoy a little break. Today I'm making what is genuinely one of my favorite go-to lunches of all time. I've been making this for years. It's super simple, it's nothing fancy. It only takes a few minutes to whip together, but it's just so satisfying to me. It's just a very simple chicken taco with a Siete almond flour tortilla. I actually freeze my tortillas just so they last longer. I don't have to worry about them going bad in the fridge. So the secret is frying it up in a pan with a little bit of butter. It gets so crispy and like perfectly flaky and delicious. We got a rotisserie chicken at the grocery store this week. So I'm just going to pull off some of the chicken breast, throw that in. I always add some sort of greens. I normally do spinach. I thought I had spinach didn't realize I didn't, but thankfully I have some leftover arugula and I'm as plain Jane as it comes. I don't put any hot sauce or salsa or anything on this, but you can totally dress it up. All right, I'll show you how I make it. lunch because it's balanced macronutrients like we talked about previously got protein in the chicken can you guys hear that my robo back just turned on I've got protein in the chicken fat in the avocado and the grass-fed butter the greens and the hemp parts help add some additional micronutrients I personally like my tortilla a little extra crispy so it's a little bit more like a tostada than a taco but I love it this way it's just so good Okay, it is now time for my little afternoon snack slash supplement moment. <laughs> Everything I'm doing here is not necessarily necessary for everyone, although we all have thyroids and hormones and adrenals and livers to support. The first thing I do in my little afternoon snack moment is my liver lover detox drink, which you saw in the last video. I also have been having a cup of dandelion tea. This is really good for liver support. I also have a raw carrot every day. Raw carrots are amazing at detoxing excess estrogen, something that is very needed for my body. And then I also make sure to have like macronutrients in a snack so today I'm going to do an apple with some grass-fed cheddar I'm actually not super hungry I feel like I could easily work until five without thinking about food but I probably would get to that point feeling a little groggy before dinner so it's helpful for me to proactively know 
that a little bit of a snack is going to help sustain me. And I also just like to take this moment to take a break from work, do these little supportive rituals I'm working on. It makes me feel empowered and proactive in taking care of my health. It reminds me that I have the choice to care for my body and it just feels good to take a little break in the middle of the afternoon and care for myself. So let's get after our little afternoon health moment here. Actually, pro tip for you on the dandelion tea, I made the major mistake of initially buying roasted dandelion tea, and I feel like I have a pretty high tolerance for things that don't taste amazing, but that tasted like absolute butt. So I just picked up this box of just dandelion leaf and root, and this is so much more mild in flavor. I mean, it doesn't taste incredible, but it's like drinkable. <laughs> so if you wanna add dandelion tea to your routine for some liver support, just get this one. I'll link it for you. For dinner. Cashmere gets home about 4.45. We eat very early. In the winters when it gets dark really early, sometimes we will go for a little evening stroll before we eat just so we can catch it before the sun goes down. In the summers we definitely eat as soon as he gets home and then we go on a, a walk after. Tonight we will not be going on a stroll. We will be doing a little bit of work. We are working on a project together that you guys will know about at some point soon, so stay tuned. Um, but we set some time aside to work on that tonight. So I'm gonna get dinner prepped. We are keeping it so simple tonight. This is like, <laughs> y'all, I'm not being very creative with today's what I eat in a day, but that's realistic. This is one of my go-to weekly dinners. I love roasted sweet potatoes and roasted chicken thighs. I messed up a little bit. I thought that we had greens that we didn't have. We have like a little bit of arugula left that I used for lunch. So I don't know if I'll try to throw that together for a salad. I don't know if I really have enough for that. Um, I might also just like chop up some cucumber and make a little cucumber salad or something. Seriously guys, this is just like making things work. I swear I meal planned. I just messed up on my greens, but it's okay. This, honestly, this really is is a go-to dinner for us. I really like doing this because the sweet potatoes take a little bit longer, especially because I like my sweet potatoes like crispy. Um, they can take almost up to like an hour. The thighs don't take quite that long. So easy to throw them each on a pan, throw them in the oven. We'll get a little work done while they're cooking and then we'll just enjoy a nourishing dinner. Good boy. Good boy. Good job, buddy. 